still fresh. Hello friends and thank you for joining me once again for another episode of Box Fresh, the series where we take the finest quality Citadel miniatures on the market and we unscrupulously copy the box art but try and do it in my style. It's mostly just a bit of fun but I really enjoy it. So this week we're going to be looking at that amazing new Primaris Chaplin on bike. This miniature really captured my imagination as soon as I saw it. I'd already wanted to include some outriders in my Blood Angel successor army so I could see this guy tearing up the battlefield leading those outriders for me. I'm really looking forward to trying him on the battlefield but first I've got to get a lick of paint on him. So Let's see how I went about that. Okay, so for the first step venturing into this guy, I've got him sprayed black, and obviously I wanna build those blacks up with a bit more texture. On the box art, they hint a little bit at texture, but it's not quite on the level of rough that I enjoy. So I'm gonna be really pushing more and more texture here where possible. I'm gonna start out with that nice bright turquoise from Reaper that I like to use for highlighting black. And I'm just gonna keep adding white to it, getting it lighter and lighter, tipping more and more towards the edges and corners and accenting all of those scratches, all of those little rough bits, trying to really pull that feeling of lots of surface texture going on. Like this thing has been kicking up gravel and getting all scratched up and looking all grizzled and mean. Next, we need to slave over all of that ridiculous amount of gold trim. Yes, it is a lot, and yes, it is a time-consuming process, but it is worth it. We're going to bring Retributor Armor in to get on with this first of all, and then from there, I'm actually going to shade this with the normal matte Rakeland Flesh Shade. Once I've got that shade applied all over, I'm then going to grab a new secret weapon that I've just incorporated into my painting repertoire, and that is Chrome from Viejo Metal Color. By successively adding more and more of this to the base gold color, we can get these really super reflective, super shiny highlights. Just treating it like any other highlight, shrinking them down as we get brighter and brighter and brighter, until eventually we're highlighting just with little dots of the Viejo Chrome on its own. We've got two types of leather to look at on this, and that's gonna be brown leather, and that's gonna be red leather, but I wanna kinda of tie them together as well, so I'm gonna shade them both with Agrax Earthshade. For the brown leather, I'll be using Mornfang Brown, and for the red leather, I'll be using Corn Red. I'm gonna be highlighting both of these colors with Jacaro Orange, again, continuing that relationship, using the same shade and highlight colors on different base tones. Again, just mixing them into the base color to build up highlights. I'm gonna still be looking for lots of texture again here because I, that's just the way I like to paint leather. This miniature in general just has a lot of surfaces that scream, give me texture. As I build up towards the final highlights, I'm gonna to start to introduce a bit of a bone color, in this case, iron rack skin, and I'm gonna to start to really get quite bright as we get towards the tips and edges of those textured areas. Speaking of that iron rack skin, we've also got a bunch of bones and parchments that we need to paint on this guy. That's another one of the longer processes, so I wanna get those all blocked in. But to differentiate the two, I'm gonna shade the parchments with Seraphim Sepia, and I'm gonna shade the bone with Agrax Earthshade. So it's gonna give them both just a slightly different look, even though they're both the same base color. Continuing to draw a bit of separation from these now while still keeping them based on the same workup, I'm also gonna take the highlights on the bone all the way up to white. However, for the parchment, conversely, I'm actually going to do some deep shading instead. So instead of taking the highlights up super bright, I'm gonna grab some Agrax Earthshade and I'm gonna pull the shades down deeper in the deepest recesses. That's gonna give us a good differential between these two surfaces. We've then got a ton of little finishing details to do all over the miniature. And some of these I'll skip because they're quite small and insignificant and you can kind of just do whatever you want to do with them. However, there is a nice burnt exhaust effect on the box art. So I mimic this by using old copper from scale 75 and then using black glazes just to pull back towards the back end of it, increasing in darkness and then stabbing in a little bit of that old copper just to stipple at the front a bit and make some parts of that transition look a bit rougher where perhaps the burns had started to occur but then been dinged back by gravel being kicked up and stuff like that. 
I've also got a bunch of purity seal wax areas that I need to deal with. So we're going to start with corn red here. These are going to get a shade down with caraberg crimson. And then I'm going to use some different mixes of corn red and jacaro orange just to bring them back up and add a few highlights here and there. Maybe with a dot of iron rack skin just on the tips. There's also that console in the middle of the handlebars, which I think maybe I was going to at one point do with uh, like a dark green and sort of a neon green fine lining over it and stuff. But you know what? I decided I just wanted something a bit simpler on this occasion. So I went with Calador Sky and just started adding some touches of white into that to get it highlighted up. Took a few passes to get it there, but in the end it was looking pretty tasty. Then after some basing with some Citadel Morden Earth, a little dusting of black weathering powder, and some lovely scenics from the wonderful rival crafts. We're about ready to do a reveal on this guy now. So, I hope you like it, because this is my version of the Primaris Chaplain, fun like the box art. And there we have it, episode two of Box Fresh is pretty much in the bag, and that's my take on that lovely Biker Primaris Chaplin. But, you know, with that style just changed up to the kind of things that I enjoy, you'll notice one of the main separations here. Most of the colours that I've used are relatively similar, the highlights on the bike notwithstanding. But the main thing here is that I've just gone for much, much more texture in my painting. I love my Space Marines especially, but most of my miniatures in general, to look like they've been on the battlefield, to look like they've been doing stuff and getting rough and ready and down in the dirt. And so to do that, texture is a really integral part of my painting. I love to make things look scratched and dinged and knocked about and even to do chipping and stuff like that so it was just a really good opportunity to grab lots of different texturing and just ram it all together on the same miniature and I really really enjoyed that so I hope that you enjoyed the video I hope that you enjoyed the workup and I hope that you'll maybe have a little try at replicating it if you want to get at me in the comments with your feelings and your thoughts on this workup then please do because I love to hear from you but for now if you liked the video Click the thumbs up, tell me that you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and enable notifications if you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing. And of course, if you do wish to pledge on Patreon, I have a Patreon with a link in the description along with all my social media links where you can pledge from as little as a buck a month to help me make these videos. So folks, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.